Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with Cirqueworks, and uh, this is another sketch time. And it's been a while since I've done one of these. And actually, I mean, I do. I I also do another video series called Fan Art Friday, and this is very similar to that, where I just draw, or in this case, ink a drawing that I've already sketched out. Um, but usually, the fan art ones are fan art, and this the sketch time I kind of reserved for my original drawings. So I drew this kind of, this this little robot guy playing a banjo. And, oh, I kind of liked it. So I figured I'd just turn on the camera and film me uh, finishing up with it. some inks. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's see. So, so yeah, um, I am back to using my webcam for this. The last time... Uh, the, the, the last video that I did, I think it was last Fan Art Friday, I used my um, iPhone, and I think the quality was pretty good, and actually some people commented saying that the quality was a lot better with the phone. Unfortunately, I uh, was watching my niece and nephew this weekend, and um, I don't want to say for sure that they're the culprits, but... I have a the little tripod that I was using for my iPhone has gone missing and and I only kind of suspect them because I have another tripod and these are just these little uh, I don't know if you've seen them there they've kind of got these little ball joint things and you can wrap them around things to to prop things up and everything um, kind of the legs kind of twist around they're kind of bendy and everything um, and uh, that uh, the one I had before went missing, and I couldn't find it for a good couple weeks. And I found it outside in my. I have a old truck that the brakes aren't working on, so it just kind of parked on the side of my house. Um, and the kids like to get in there and play in it. And so I found it in there. So I don't know. I'm thinking my other, my newer tripod is uh, is somewhere floating around the house or it could be anywhere really i don't know i could ask the out the call my brother and ask if if uh they know where it is but they probably don't they probably forgot so like also my nephew brought a little nintendo ds over and that kind of disappeared i don't know he's been asking them for it, it hasn't turned up yet so <laughs> so yeah it's always something so hopefully this thing turns up because my my girlfriend picked it up for me, this little tripod for the for my iPhone, and uh, I I haven't even I forgot to pay her back for it. So if I can't find it, then I'm gonna have to pay her back and then also get another one. So anyway, I don't know. We'll see. I imagine it should turn up sooner or later. I just don't know when. Um, and I kind of need that for this new video series that I'm doing. Um, that's what it was for. So. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy's kind of got kind of a mustache going on, a fancy, you know. I don't know if he's kind of a got a hipster vibe to him or he's just an older gentleman from that era. Um, but originally, when I started drawing this guy. Um, I had something else in mind, and I kind of made a rookie mistake, and that is, you may know when you, um, that's weird, there's something here, I don't entirely know what it is, I guess that's just part of his, there, okay. Um, yeah, I made the rookie mistake of drawing something and not having enough room on the page to fit what I wanted. So originally this was going to be a little kid robot, and he was going to be kind of on a pier fishing, and fishing poles are pretty long <laughs> and I just got to the point where either I could draw this really tiny fishing pole or it would just go off the edge so I decided to kind of change it around and change his positioning around a little bit and uh, make him uh, play a banjo so but uh, yeah I kind of like this and uh, maybe later I'll draw a robot kit fishing or something maybe I could do a whole series of robots doing people type stuff 
but this is also we're still in Inktober so this is gonna be one of my Inktober entries and I don't know I already I I might actually post this one a little later after I'm recording it because I already I posted a video today and I want to try to I want to try to put out um, maybe at least two videos a day if not uh, not a day sorry a week if not uh, if not three so I already have two other videos planned for this week so I might kind of save this next week just so I've got content coming out until I kind of get everything ready for my new video series that I'm working on which is and all this stuff is you know post my 100 days of making comics which um, the other video that I'm gonna do well I say this week but but uh, if I wait to post this particular one that doesn't that's not gonna jive so um, I probably shouldn't bring that up but and if you know I guess you would have already seen it but I'm what I'm gonna do or what I by the time you're seeing this what I have done is just given some updates to my um, 100 days of making comics and the progress I'm making on my my comic book so and then uh, I also posted a video of me doing some uh, some prop design um, just for Halloween type props for a Halloween display that I'm working on with a friend and uh, that was fun I'll have to see as of as I am painting this or inking this uh, that video just went up today so it's probably been if I wait for next week then it's probably been up for a week so if you haven't checked that out you might want to it's it's a little different but it's it's something that uh, that I have a lot of fun with and people seem to find it interesting is just building props out of styrofoam and, and things like that so so yeah so I did a lot of that this past weekend or last weekend I shouldn't I should stop just mentioning time and just keep it more general but yeah I've been working on um, props for Halloween and also for the new kind of web series that I'm working on I've uh, I don't want to give too much away yet, even though I did a did an interview with Marshall Couture, aka Plex. Uh, if you're following my my 100 Days, you might be familiar with him. He was also doing the 100 Days, and he's got a podcast called The Escape Artist. And sometimes he'll just get on there and talk about what's going on as far as his artistic endeavors, and sometimes he'll have a guest on. And so I was his guest for this past episode, and. Um, kind of opened up about what I'm planning for my new show. So if you're curious at all, you can check out Marshall's uh, Marshall's podcast. And uh, I kind of give some hints, or a little more than hints. I kind of describe a lot of the stuff I'm doing. So I told him that was kind of an exclusive. So I'll keep it an exclusive for a little while longer, anyway. But uh, but I kind of showed some of the. Um, I'm building this little set inside my closet that I can film in like a mini type mini studio um, inside this little tiny walk-in closet that I have that um, is pretty much the only I you know I had the garage which I could but it could could have built a little set in there the problem is in Arizona where right now it's nice but in the summertime when it gets up to 115 or so or higher um, it's not the place you want to be shooting any kind of video, so uh, so I decided to do it inside this little closet, and uh, and so it's kind of gonna it's gonna have kind of a cavey type vibe to it. So I've been carving also out of foam. I've been carving some pieces for that set. A uh, little, you know. Uh, like uh, I don't know, just like cave walls and things like that. And I should have recorded some of that stuff too, but I didn't. So 
But I had a lot of fun. Yeah, that and there's another prop that I'm using for the video that uh, I was doing some work on. So yeah, been having a lot of fun doing some like. I don't know. It's nice to do, to like carve things and do some sculpture and stuff for a change. Kind of take a break from just drawing and stuff. And but also get, I'm happy to get back into doing some drawings because I kind of took a little vacation. And so like last, other than my fan art video, I didn't, uh, hadn't been putting much out online. But uh, that was just temporary. I should be getting back to uh, back to doing that. So yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch any of Kevin Cross's videos. You probably did, but he did like an inking demo, and there are a lot of tricks and things. And he uh, he mentioned that he had a technique for kind of rejuvenating old brushes and I'm curious what that is um, because right now I'm using this uh, usually I use my my Winsor Newton series 7 brushes but uh, they're kinda getting frayed at the end so I've been using this Cotman brush which it's decent but I would like to see if I can if it's possible to fix my other brushes because they're yeah they're frayed at the edges and I get Sometimes I get multiple lines and things like that, which I don't really want. But yeah, it was a he did a pretty cool video, and I actually I you know I've been I've been inking and stuff for a while, but I learned some new things about uh, like I use sometimes I'll use this pro white to uh, it's like a white opaque paint to you know, just do your white fill-ins. Lately, I've been using a uh, gel pen, like a, a white gel pen, and those work pretty good too, but they don't work good for like larger larger areas. But, um, so, Kevin had mentioned that if you put some water in there and leave it overnight, that it'll come back to life, which I did last night, but I haven't checked on it. And I knew like, I knew that, because uh, mine's all pretty much dried up, my Pro White. And I know that if it starts to get like that, if you dip your brush in some water and get some water in there, um, you can kind of, you can kind of get a, a little more wet and everything. And um, hold on, and uh, and get some more paint out of it. But I never thought of just leave putting some water in it and just kind of leaving it overnight and see if the whole thing kind of pops back. I'm curious, but we'll find out. Maybe I'll check that out. If I can remember, I'll check that out after this. So, I don't have a... I wish I had a banjo to look at right now. I'm just kind of going off my sketches and I'll, I'll, I'll do stuff real loose and then I'll forget to, I'll forget what certain things are supposed to be. So I don't know if this is that accurate. I'm sure it's got, I don't know what you call the little things that the strings fit into. Um, but so let's draw his legs in here. You can see a little bit of his butt hanging out here from the side. Yeah, I wish, uh, hopefully this will this will come out. I kind of wish I had my, I could film this with my iPhone. It's weird though, because I, I thought I bought a pretty decent webcam. You know, it's HD and everything, but. I don't know. Maybe it's just not quite as good as the. It's just amazing these, ca these uh, cameras on these phones. It's like that's the only camera I have now, and I mean it's not. It's not as great as some of these, you know, cameras that are 
you know, that's all they are, are cameras, but for a phone, it takes pretty good pictures. I mean, I don't know if I can get, like, if I wanted to blow something up to, like, a beyond, like, an 8x10 or something, how great it would be, but for most of the stuff I use, it's pretty good, and I can get a pretty good picture, so... Trying to think what else is going on. I keep wanting to again mention things that are more topical. And if I wait to post this, then it's not going <laughs> to. I should be saying it in past tense when it hasn't actually happened yet. But I'm going to try to get on the. Maybe have time to get on the Artcasters chat. I've been doing. Try to get on there whenever I'm available. Yeah, I think that I think I kind of messed up that it looks a little different than the other one. But oh well, maybe he's kind of made up of spare parts and things. Maybe he's like an older robot, and his knees might be a little bit different. Kind of, I like that on like the design of the original like C-3PO, where one of his uh, legs was like looked like it was from a silver droid. Well, the rest of them was gold. It was just kind of like, that's one thing Star Wars really did a great job at, is making things look worn and used and realistic. So, I'm anxious to see what some of these, uh, what, what the, you know, the new Star Wars are going to look like. I think I may have talked about this on another video, but I was kind of just, being a little standoffish about it before, not wanting to know much about it, but I have a feeling I'm going to start getting more excited about it. I already saw some new production stills and things like that, whether those are real or just like plants or things they didn't use to throw us off the trail. I don't know, but what I saw looked pretty cool, so it's, it's piqued my interest. And let's see. So the robot's close to done. I'm going to wait to do it. I might do his eyes with uh, like a template and a, a micron or something. Do this little bird. Just kind of hanging out. Listen to some tunes that this guy's playing. Straight the park bench. It's weird. Some days my hand is like a little more steady than others. Today it's pretty decent, I think. It seems like it is. I don't know why that is. Some days it's just like I get all kinds of crazy, wobbly designs. I don't know if it's too much coffee or what. Yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions of things you know original type ideas like you know I like to draw robots and aliens and stuff like that so if you got anything like that that you'd want to see any ideas you can let me know and then I'll maybe approach that as a subject I do that kind of with fan art or or if you got fan art ideas too I'm always looking for ideas on what to do for Fan Art Fridays. I don't know what I'm going to do this time. Um, 
I haven't really decided, so I have to give that some thought. I'd like to meet this guy if I was out, you know, just walking around in the park. This robot guy. I wonder what he's up to, what, what his deal is. I've been watching uh, some other people do these Inktober drawings. I don't know if you guys um, follow Will Terrell on uh, YouTube, but man, his stuff stuff he's doing for Inktober is just blowing my mind. It's so inspiring. It's like, yeah, if I could get to that point someday, but he's been doing like tree houses and things like that, which I love tree houses. I mean, almost every story I have has, has a tree house in it. <laughs> you know, the young and the dead, which is my comic book series. Part of it takes place in the tree house. I mean, that's kind of, Part of the whole idea was, it's a, uh, you know, you probably heard this before, but it's, uh, so my comic is a cross between Goonies and Night of the Living Dead, and in Night of the Living Dead, um, the characters are kind of held up in this farmhouse, and uh, my idea was to kind of do the same thing with kids, but with a, uh, with them up in a treehouse. So yeah, I've got a treehouse in that story, and then another children's story I did. But yeah, I really just dig treehouses, and the more the elaborate, more elaborate the better. And that's kind of the stuff that Will Terrell has been drawing, and well, he's been doing some other stuff too. But yeah, just him and both him and Jake Parker, the guy who kind of initiated Inktober. I just love their stuff it's so imaginative and so full of life and and that's that's not even speaking to their technical skill um as artists but i mean sometimes i struggle to come up with ideas and a lot of times and i've got this habit where a lot of times i'll try to i'll just start drawing a gesture or something and see what what comes out of it which that's cool you know that's that's kind of a cool just way to do it to see what just what your what happens as you just start drawing as an exercise but i find it's better when i kind of go into it with a plan which is not always the case and it's weird because it seems like if you're going to start drawing something you should kind of have a basic idea of what you're drawing or what you want to draw but i don't always know and it's like it's a weird thing. So sometimes I just struggle to come up with ideas. And I'm going to try to push myself with the new show that I'm working on to kind of come up with or maybe do the thing where I have a couple different ideas or different things and put them in a hat and draw from those and combine them. Or I don't know, but just I just want to kind of use it to... Um, kind of help me out in, in, you know, being a little more creative and original with ideas and concepts that I draw. And I think it would be a good thing to, for other artists to kind of follow along on a, that kind of journey. So that's, that's one of the things I'm kind of planning out. So, but I've been doing, uh, I have a, a, a client that I'm working on it's a game design and we're doing a bunch of different creature designs and I used to do a lot of that I used to I worked this at a game studio I mean I did a lot of those creature designs and things like that and I'm a little rusty I'm finding um, I've got a few that that I've done that I mean the client seems to like most everything I'm doing it just I don't know I'm just like I'm wanting, I guess I'm wanting to do better than what's coming out right now. So it's, but they, they tend to, they start, they're starting to get a little better and more imaginative. So I just got to kind of get back in the swing of things, I think. So 
so I've got some trees going on here. It's a nice Sunday afternoon at a park. Some bushes back here. Right now it's like super, all the lines are super thin, so I'm going to have to add some line weight to some of these. And I was just talking about having a plan when you sit down to draw something and kind of knowing what you what you want it to look like. Um, and the same should go for when you do these videos, because right, <laughs> I just had a little, you know, bit of silence there. I didn't really think of what topics I was going to talk about. It would help if I had some topics. And sometimes when I like when I do the fan art stuff, because I can always just remark on whatever piece I'm doing, if I'm doing like a Star Wars piece or whatever, Harry Potter or whatever, I can just talk about the movies and how they inspired me and things like that. But when you're working on original stuff like that, I mean, I don't, I've never met any robot banjo playing guitar or banjo playing guys, so. So he's got a little tip hat sitting here. All right, now it's time to, well, I got one other bush here back here that I can see. Yeah. Alright, that'll do that. So let's get in and start adding some blacks and some boulder lines and things like that. So let me start with the robot himself. Just kind of bold his body, just the outline. I think I've talk about this before where I usually like to put an outline around my guys it reminds me of kind of that coloring book technique Just kind of help pop them out a little bit. Mm, all right. And I should start. I used to do uh, like live streams and it was, uh, was kind of cool because, well, for one, I had, this was back when I was working at the game studio, and we'd, we'd show how we draw some of our characters and things like that, which I want to get back to, but one of the cool things was, you know, I do my drawings, and then we'd have like a moderator that would, kind of messed up there, I bolded the wrong line, um, we had a moderator who would take questions from the people in the chat and they would ask questions and stuff and they read them to us so we can it was a little easier because 
of people asking you questions, you have a little more to talk about. But when you're just drawing like this, sometimes sometimes I do good if it's you know again it's a little a little early as I'm recording this, so I'm still trying to get up and focused for the day. And usually I'll do sometimes I'll do a, a sketch like this, and it'll be my uh, just kind of my warm up for the day. But when you're recording, at least for me, I always like the the videos where you know people will talk as they draw, which isn't always that easy to do. I think I'm wondering if my draw my inking and my drawings would look a lot better if I wasn't talking at the same time they might but but I'm not trying to be too precious with these anyway you know I haven't really like for my comic book when I'm working on it I don't usually you know do a lot of that on camera because I want to try to concentrate a little more although I, I guess I have done I've done it before so or sometimes I'll just do it like a speed painting and uh, those work good because you don't have to really you know don't really talk while you're doing those but like I said I kind of like these ones where um, where you talk and draw so I'm gonna also bold the hat because it's more in the foreground Definitely gonna have to go get some more ink because I'm running low. Um, a little color here in the tree. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. And... There we go. How are we on time? We've been doing this for about a half hour. Getting close, closer anyway. Put a little shadow in here. I should just do one of these whole, <laughs> one of these things like uh, Bob Ross. Put some little happy shadows in here. Kind of pop that out. Get a nice uh, burnt umber color in there. Paint little happy trees here. That would be. <laughs> I don't know how long I could go on like that. I used to love those though. There was that guy and the other, that other. I think it was a German artist. Uh, some something Alexander. He was another guy that was on PBS doing those things. He def. I don't think he was as calm as uh, Bob Ross though. be fun to have a guy that was <laughs> just the opposite of Bob Ross just this <laughs> crazy uh, you know just high energy you know I don't know be funny all right what are we where are we at here I'll show there.
and probably want to crop in some shadows here where uh, we're sitting down. This leg here. Now my shadows are, if you look at the tree, it's darker on that side than it is over here, so it's kind of odd. Oh well. Could have planned that a little better. can we do? Where else can we add some blacks like inside his little joints of his arms? Maybe inside here. That tends to make it give it a little more depth. head. Maybe that's black in there. Maybe his bow tie should be black or maybe his mustache. I'm wondering. I don't know. If I ever colored this guy, I might want to give him more of a brownish mustache. Feeling black inside the hat, definitely. Man, I guess I'm just not talkative enough today. I don't know what the deal is. This is going to be a boring video. So if you guys are at home, you're drawing, <laughs> you're drawing, and you turn this on for some company while you're drawing. I apologize. I'm just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I'm getting into this drawing too much. So hopefully if you this is your first video and you're tuning in, sometimes they're a little better as far as the you know the the content uh, of I don't want to say conversation because it's just really just me spouting off. I don't know if that constitute a constitutes a conversation or not, but all right, let's see. Little hat, little shadow here under the bench. And I guess I could. I guess I could be close to wrapping this up. I, wanna, I just feel like it needs more blacks. I'm always worried about adding too much blacks. I didn't use everything. It's it's because I used to used to add blacks all over the place, and then I started to do more just the thin lines, and I don't know. I kind of got away from that as a kind of a stylistic choice, but I like 
I do like seeing people that use a lot of heavy blacks like Mike Manolia. Manolia. Ah, how you, I don't know how you pronounce that. You know who I'm talking about. Um, all right. What kind of song he's playing? I should. Maybe instead of me talking, I'll just play some. <laughs> when I when I upload this video, I'll just play some banjo music. Not that I know, not that I have any banjo music, but if I did, that might be kind of funny. It definitely speed it up. You get that real fast kind of doodling banjo um, music. It tends to tends to be kind of fast paced, and you know. All right. I guess it's time I should pop in his eyes. I guess I'll do that with uh, just a circle template. Now, I wonder if the, eye, the eyes might look good in black. I, mean, I probably didn't even need to use the circle template because if I'm filling in the blacks, it's easier to kind of easier to draw. Yeah, that should. Kind of like that. Yeah, getting ready to wrap up this guy, and uh, again, you know, sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry. This, I mean, it started off all right, and then I just kind of got, uh, well, I don't know, what we'll talk about. Mm. But uh, yeah, you can check out some of the other videos. They're not all. They're not quite as, you know, not quite as bad as this one. Um, well, hopefully the drawing looks decent if you had a chance to actually watch the actual drawing section. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, let me go ahead and just sign my name on here. And this will be Robot Robo Banjo Player. And uh, that will conclude another Sketch Time video. Um, yeah, and I've got uh, some other videos and stuff that I'll be putting out, so just... Keep an eye on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Let me know what you think. You can leave a comment and all that stuff. And until then, I will see you next time, whatever I'm doing. It'll be some sort of <laughs> drawing video or something on YouTube. So uh, that's all for today. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.